Hello guys, this is Mac here from EasyOGH Mods and Easy Customs. Now I have a pretty quick tutorial, but you know me, I'm going to span that out to about 20 minutes, so let's get right into it. So this is a How Do I series video uh, explaining you how do I install things onto my OGH or you name it. So we have How Do I Install a KV. Now this is probably the second most asked or uh, asked whatever it is a uh, question or um, a question that is brought to my attention that um which is how do i install a kv uh right below how do i install stealth or how do i install a bo2 menu how do i install blah 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 you name it um this right here is probably the most simplest tutorial um it's not hard um, it's not difficult. Your dog could do it. A five-year-old could do it. Even even a dead person could. Um, but anyway, let's get right into it. So the first thing what you guys are going to want to do is get a KV. Uh, which usually this right here could be... Uh, let me just go to my downloads folder. So we have... Let me, I have like a huge folder filled with KVs. I just got to find it. Um, one second guys, looks like I'm having a bit of trouble right here, let's see, files, no KVs, um, anyway, let's get right into it, uh, so the first thing what you guys are going to want to do is, there's two ways of transferring this, okay, you have one, you have Xbox 360 neighborhood, two, you have it via flash, uh, bleh, flash drive, I'm going to show you guys the two ways of doing it, it's really, really, really simple. This right here is not hard whatsoever. So, I mean, like, trust me, guys. A baby could do it, okay? A baby could do it. So let's say you're banned. Uh, you want to put that new KV on, you know, that fresh new KV. I'm going to show you how. Okay, so what you guys are going to want to do is plug in a flash drive into your computer. So let's say... You know, I'm XXX underscore modded lobbies, and I'm putting on a new KV for, you know, a recovery. So, um, when a console gets banned, they ban something called a KV.bin, which is a file on your uh, Xbox. This is how they do it for every single console. Now, what we can do is, since we have a RGH uh, console, we can actually go into the directory of the Xbox... Uh, sort of thing and we can put a new one on um, And basically we are going to be putting it on the root of your hard drive now I've had a couple people say the root of it. I mean do I create a folder called the root? No, you just put it on your hard drive. It's as simple as that simple as that and I'm gonna show you how so um, Let's just say here. I have my folder filled with KVs. It cannot be in a raw format so like, let's say I open up this one. You guys want to take that kv.bin. Now you guys can take the CPU text or whatever it is and copy it. But to be honest, it really doesn't matter. As long as there, I mean, you, you can put the CPU key on it. Uh, but basically, you just want this. You just want the kv.bin. So I'm gonna unplug it, and it's gonna say you didn't safely uninject. Um, inject it doesn't matter so then you guys are going to want to plug it into your xbox now i didn't show this but you want to drag that kv.bin onto your flash drive as well as the cpu key.txt if you guys want to so after that go to xcx menu so as you are in xcx menu just wait for it to load oh looks like it's oh no a little bit, little bit buggy. It's all good. So after that, sorry if you guys hear the fan in the background. That's just how it is. Okay, so you guys are going to be on your flash uh, drive. Um, actually, here the thing, the storage isn't loading too well. Hold on, I'm just gonna plug in the hard drive correctly this time. Okay, so I'm plugging in my hard drive, which doesn't take me too long. 
Okay, I gotta reboot the console. Shouldn't take too long. I mean, it shouldn't happen to you. This is just me not being prepared, but it's all it's all fun and games, you know. Now you guys can actually have the KV on your flash drive, if I'm not mistaken, as long as the stealth that you have activated is on the same directory as where your KV is. Because basically what's happening is that your stealth service is actually picking up the KV and it's using that. Um, now if you have flashed your KV, um, which is not common, actually nobody actually does it anymore, but people used to do it back then because programs and stealth servers would actually be stealing their KVs and then selling it to who knows and basically ripping off a bunch of people um but not this time i'm just waiting for this xbox to load up it's having a bit of troubles i'm just gonna unplug it and then plug it back in that always fixes the issue um so basically your stealth server picks it up now this is all stealth servers so it's not limited to one it's not limited to two all stealth servers mostly do it um, which I at least hope they do, because then that would be a little bit buggy or fishy if they didn't. Okay, so finally we got it to boot up. Um, so I'm just going to show you what to do. And as well as I do that, I'm going to actually open up Parallels, because I want to show you how to do it through Neighborhood as well. Um, play that, and then I'll show you what we do. Okay, so as soon as this loads up, we should be all good. And I get the loading screen mostly because I have Ethernet connected. And when you have Ethernet connected, it takes a tad bit longer. Because it's loading up the uh, internet files and whatnot. So hop over to the XEX menu. And then after you guys are in XEX menu, uh, simply... I'll show you what to do. Okay. You guys are going to want to click RB on your controller, that would be right bumper. Go down to wherever your KVs are, click A, and which mine should be somewhere in here. Uh, if it's not, it's not, it, it probably isn't. Um, let's see. No, it's, it's not. actually here, I could just do this. So you would basically find your KV, there it is, and you would just... Um, click Y, copy, HDDD, and then hit Y, and then click paste. And then there you go. You reboot your console, you do the avatar update, and you're all good to go. Um, and yeah, that, that's, that, that's basically how to install a KV. It's really simple. Now let's say you wanted to do this on neighborhood, which I uh, preferably want you guys to do. But if you guys don't have neighborhood or you can't do this, um, don't worry about it. I mean, it. It is what it is. So what you guys want to do, if you want to do this on neighborhood, so find the IP of your Xbox, which you guys can see right here. Uh, 192.168.0.9. So you, you guys, so you guys want to install um, Xbox 360 neighborhood, which I've shown in previous tutorials. Actually, the previous tutorial after this one is uploaded. Uh, I just need to add my Xbox in there. It's 192.168.0.9. Um, yes, yes, finish. Okay, I'm going to show you how easy this guys. I'm, I'm going to show you how easy this is. Okay, it's as simple as... I'm going to copy this. Delete that. It's as simple as going into your hard drive or wherever you want to put it and just dragging it. That's it. Reboot your console. You are set. Do the avatar update. You're good. Okay? It's that simple. A baby could do it. A dog could do it. I mean, Christ. <laughs> so that's it. That's how to install a, um, that's how to install a KV. Now, getting your KVs. That's another thing. Where should I get my KVs? Uh, personally, uh, let's just see here, um, Deception Live 
Uh, no. That's where I get my lifetime tokens at. So I'm pretty sure uh, Deception Live also has um, places where you can buy um, KVs. I'm not sure. I'm actually on their website as well as a couple other people. Um, I'll leave some places to where you guys could get KVs. Um, I'm not sure. Like, let's. I mean, I could type in KV Sellers X360 Vault. Let's just see if. We if we can get something. There you go. Uh, X360 key, key, key Vault. I'm pretty sure you guys could get them from there. Um, uh, which, um, yeah, I mean, um, basically, I'll just leave some places where you guys could get some KVs down in the uh, description. I know a lot of people have been really pumping up KV sales, so I'll be sure to, I'll, I'll be sure to share them to you. Um, and that's about it guys, thank you very much for watching, uh, if you guys did enjoy this, leave a like, um, subscribe if you guys want more stuff like this, you know, I'm always open, I'm always open to help, if I have time, and if I don't have time, uh, whatever, okay guys, peace out.